I'm all for objectivity. I think as a journalist, you have to be objective, you have to be precise, and you shouldn't be wrong. And if you're wrong, you have to admit that you were wrong. But at the same time, the best of journalism happens when you take a stand. It's not the same thing when you talk to a dictator than when you talk to the victim of that dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And the best of journalism that I've seen is when reporters take a stand, and they take a stand with those who have no rights, those who have no voice, those who, um, those who are victims. So for me, the best examples is when Walter Cronkite decided to, to talk against the Vietnam War, or when Christiana Manpour denounced what was going on with the Serbs and criticized the Clinton administration, or when the Washington Post reporters denounced a corrupt president, Richard Nixon, and he had to quit office, or when Anderson Cooper said on the air that what was going on with, uh, in New Orleans after Katrina was a disaster. When you do that, I think you are seeing the best of journalism. And as journalists, we have to remember that sometimes to be neutral is just an excuse for not doing your job. I am from the school of thought that the best of journalism has to have a point of view. Because we're not really, really being objective when you start a story. When, when we say that we want to cover the United States, we are, are already taking a stand. We're not covering Ethiopia, we're not covering Sudan, we're not covering Argentina. You're taking a, a point of view. And when you're doing an interview, or when you're reporting on a specific issue, you already have a point of view. So I think we're much better off if we are being transparent, telling the people what's our point of view, instead of hiding it and pretending to be objective when we are really not objective. So that so-called point of view journalism, or taking a stand, or having a proactive attitude as a journalist, I think that's the only thing that it's going to save uh, journalism. Mm -hmm. If you are not, if you don't take a stand on certain issues, I think you're failing your profession. Um, Elie Wiesel used to say that neutrality only helps the oppressor. Well, the same thing happens in journalism. If you use neutrality as your excuse, then many stories won't be reported accurately. And as an immigrant, for instance, I think I have the, not only the, the right, but I have the duty, the obligation to to give voice to those who don't have a voice. I have an obligation to, to make sure that the presidents and the members of Congress know what they are thinking. It is, it's very difficult to, to listen to undocumented immigrants on American media nowadays. And I, I think I'm a privileged immigrant because I have a voice. And, I, and because of that, I feel the responsibility that I have to speak for those who don't have a voice mm. and to present that point of view whenever I'm doing an interview.